Hey YouTube, this is Gordon with Foxfire Unlimited. This is part 12 of the Legend of Zelda Triforce of the Gods Let's Play. So, first thing I'm going to show you right now, if you have a chest or another item, which I won't tell you uh, later on, and you try to run at all, you drop it where you leave it. Uh, well, yeah, of course you drop it where you leave it. So, I speak good. So basically, this limits you to only walking from here. However, you still can jump off. And it probably shakes up the contents of that chest pretty badly, huh? Dropping it from a freaking ledge. So what we're doing is we're going this way. I'm actually going to use the fire rod because I don't really feel like using the hammer. And hopefully I don't run out. Coming up. Well, I can just go this way now since I have the glove. Work smarter, not harder. Right over here. Now, if you remember, I told you about a uh, thief from a while ago. Hey, rupees. Nice. Oh, nice. Miss. Two for one. Couldn't plan that better if I tried. Anyway, you remember the sleeping thief right here whenever we were... Uh, goodness, was that uh, part two or three we, we did that? Anyway, looks like Mario, right? Again, sort of like your uncle, a little bit more tan. He says, oh, hey, I heard you uh, I heard you heard I was a thief. I'll uh, unlock anything you want uh, if you promise not to tell anyone. So, have him unlock that, and look, it's a bottle. Even though you dropped it from a couple of ledges, the bottle's still fine. Head back to the dark world. Ugh. Now then. From whence we came. Well. Yeah, he looks a little funny running like that, huh? Makes the nice sound whenever he uh, bounces off it with no sword. Good stuff, huh? Still holds his hand out like he has the sword, though. So, lifting up the big giant heavy rock, throwing it, and I always thought, uh, because you have that same reaction with the giant light green rocks, even when you get the titan's mitt, I always thought that uh, it would just make sense that whenever you get the titan's mitt, you should, you should be able to walk around with the uh, light green ones, but that's just me. Back to the blacksmiths. That should be enough time for them, huh? Talk to them. And hey, how about that? You have a red sword now. Makes a much cooler sound whenever it swings. Sounds like you're swinging fire through the air. So, head back to the dark world. We are going to go to the graveyard. So, going this way, further up, and around, don't actually remember what's in this cave, I think it's just uh, a guy that looks like a hand, uh, target, whatever. Uh, he tells you 20 rupees, and I'll tell you a secret. I'm going to say no, because it's usually worthless, and I can't even read it anyway, so. Heading back on out. Rupee. And that's a freaking B. I don't want to be. Okay, so, we... Oh, really? It's there every time, I guess. Okay. We're going to use the mirror. And... I guess we got to ram it. Hey, how about that? Hey, 
And it's a cape. If only it were yellow and made you fly. So, back to the dark world. Kill the freaking bee. Anyway. Yay, more rupees. So, stand on this little ledge here. Use the mirror back to the light world. Wonder if they want you to use bombs. Oh, another heart piece. Heading back. And right around the corner up here is where we're going. Remember the entrance to Death Mountain before? Kind of going there again. Ah, freaking birds. So, that sign over there says, uh... I'll give a heart piece to anyone who wears the cape. So now that we have the cape, let's go use it. Right up top. Use the hook shot. Propel yourself across. Well, I guess that would be compel yourself across. Now, this always stumped me when I was a kid, but, uh, because I didn't have the cape. But, use the cape, you can walk right through the, the bumpers. Cool, huh? And we have another full heart container. So, what are we going to do? We are going to go back to the light world, because we have something specific that we need to get. Call the weird duck looking thing. Yeah, let's go with the shot. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Yeah, that figures. Run up the ladder. And more tech tights. They do jump away from your sword. They're a little bit more active jumping than the uh, red ske uh, skeletons are, though. So, we're going to go back here. Then we're going to do this. We Okay. So what we're going to do? Pound the moles down. And then you're probably going to see me die again. But, uh, you know, whatever. I'm fine with that. Ready. And break. And fairy number two. Lift and throw. Yay. And of course you can recover some hearts here. And you get the cane of, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's B-Y-R-N-A. Byrna? Byrna? Something like that. Basically what it does is it uh, encircles you with light and it makes you invincible. You can walk through just about anything and not get hurt. 
And as you can see, it's not really that big of a drain on your magic. So, we're going to do one more thing here. We, oh, we're going to kill that guy. So I guess we're going to do two more things. We're going to go back to the light world. And we're going to call the duck one more time. Make him explode. Back out here. To the Great Fairy Fountain. So we need a bomb, right? Place that bomb. Hey look, we got some fairies, and we just so happen to have some open bottles. So let's catch them. Yes. Yes. Yes, and then let's use that last one. Waste not, want not, right? Now, the last thing we're going to do is we are actually going to throw some more rupees into the fountain. I want more bombs since my arrows are already maxed out. Yes, I want to throw more. There's another 50. Why not? One more time. Throw another 50. Because it's not like I don't have rupees right now. Want more bombs and 50. I am completely maxed out on bombs and arrows now. So, going back outside. We are going to do one more thing. We are going to pick that up and go to the Dark World. Palace number five. Uh. And we're going to kill that guy. So, this is Palace number five, the Ice Palace, also known as the reason why people don't like this game. So, thanks for tuning in. Rate, comment, subscribe. Next time, I'll show you exactly how to get through it. So, um, have fun. Bye.